cards note. Uh, blah, blah, blah. X, 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 X. The puppet cannot refuse the grand covenant imprinted upon manufacturer. It must obey the creator's orders and cannot harm humans. But look at that puppet that was once called Fuoko. Is the grand covenant flawed? Covenant flawed? Uh, okay. The once faithful puppet now kills humans. It creates puppets instead of fire. It obeys something else other than humans. It, it's as if someone is controlling it or it is, has a mind of its own. As if there is a king of puppets somewhere. Maybe that's the end boss. <laughs> it, uh, is it pretending to be human? Is it a simple defect? This requires further investigation. It's surprising. Forko's actions were not simple obedience, but faith. Forko worshipped something as God. I heard there's a king of puppets on Rosa Isabel Street. That must be what is controlling the puppets of Crate. But a puppet having a human ego is a problem from another dimension. There's still a puppet secret that I don't know about. Ergo is probably the key. But those guys are awakening like humans more quickly as days go by. Someone has to stop them before it's too late, for the sake of all humans. Okay, so the place I couldn't go before... ...is probably the place that I have to go eventually. Can I? No. Oh. No. Okay, down here again. Now I'm kind of glad that I fought this furnace guy. Uh, up by Venini. So all those robots wouldn't have interfered with our fight. They are also really just throwing bombs. Ouch. I swear I meant to dodge that attack, but I was too slow. Uh, now the exciting part. Going up again. Very flashing lights. <sighs> boss fight time, boss fight time, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight time. And I will save before that because I wasted a healing. I will, I, I won't level up before that. I mean, if the boss fight proves to be very difficult, I will. But I think I can just deal without it. It would probably just be like one or two levels and those are not making a difference anymore then. Eventually this arm will break. I promise you, eventually this arm will break. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that the boss fight is already occurring. I thought there would be a lot more fight before the, uh, a lot more time before the next boss fight. Um, just because meeting Vinity felt like uh, the first half is done. Like after the first half, you would meet like uh, after the first half of the factory, you would meet Vinity, uh, Vinini, Vinini, and after the second half, you would, uh, yeah. Fight the boss. Okay, okay. That does hurt. Oh, he's quick. But I'm also something. Something. dead okay maybe in this boss fight I will try to dodge around him a little bit more because he seems a little bit more dodgeable than the last one than the police officer damn it I want to dodge in the last second should have just dodged before that Woo. no damn it yeah this time he wasn't doing the easy move than he was last time so I was kind of confused Okay. Oh no 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 I'm dead. 
I can't survive this. Nice. He really sucks for life, doesn't he? <laughs> Come on. Bye bye. I mean, the boss fight before was harder. Like, the move moveset was a little bit faster, he wasn't so easy to dodge. There go my 8th eight, eight Nurgo. <laughs> I feel so demotivated right now. I could have done it. I could have done it, but I gave up because I thought the burning would kill me. Oh god. He had no health. One more hit. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. <gasps> wow, just jump away. Boop. Why couldn't I move? Yep, of course. Yeah. Like right now I'm just okay, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. But I need to be like, yeah, I can do it! I can fight him! I will kill him! Let's go! No! I thought I had that. I thought I could just... The first boss was more fun, I have to say. Like the first boss of the stream. The, the lightning cop. He was more fun. Maybe I should also use my legion a little bit more again. Especially in the beginning it does a good amount of damage. But this is the downside. Come on. One hit was important. But I started off the second phase in worse spots. I'm sorry for so much quiet time, but... Uh, and I have 9,000. I have lost more than I gained. No, I, I gained a little bit more, but I could have, have twice as much. If I didn't fall off into the acid pit there this one time. I mean, if I have to say, that would have been very good if I wouldn't have died there. But in the end, it's not too bad. I think at this time I just feel bad about taking so many tries in total. Like having to try and try and try again. Which is almost I'm feeling I'm not used to anymore in games. Um, and well, in general, it's a tough day today for me. <laughs> Doesn't need to concern you. 
But yeah, just... Okay. I kind of would like to need less tries to learn it quicker. But I guess I just also need to play this game more to really get into it. Ah, hey! You're back! And you found... Oh, dear. Pulcinella. They really did a number on you. I found them? Pulcinella was proof that puppets possess true courage. I will not rest until I have revived him. Okay. But there will be ample time for that. First, I must thank you for a truly heroic piece of work. Thank The factory is ours you? again. The puppets are going to be in really bad shape after this. Let us return to the hotel and rest while we can. Okay. <laughs> yep. I cannot shake the thought of that puppet army. What they meant to do. But that's for the future to solve. I but that's for the future. Okay. I want to go back to the boss room to see if there's anything there. Now. I mean, I would also need to fight this blandest puppet of the future. <laughs> I also would need to get there, but how? How? How do I get there? I can't even roll there anymore. Like, I could roll there once and now I can't. <laughs> I'm just glitching off or sliding off the edge there. I mean, <laughs> that's also so ridiculous, like in every... If this would be a normal situation, would you just would you wouldn't even jump? You would take a large step. <laughs> but P can't even do that. Okay, let's uh, teleport back to the hotel. I guess Vinici is there now. Or v Vinini. I think it sounds a little bit better with the G. Vinici. Not Vinini, but I didn't wrote that stuff. Hello. Use my power to help you. Please do. I want more vitality. <laughs> I want to be able to tank more. Talk about Sophia's power. To wield, ergo. They call me a listener. Because I can hear Ergo. And this world that is determined by Ergo, that's a useful power. Who hated it. Called it the devil's power. No. Oh. So I kept it a secret that I could talk to puppets. Now you are the only one my voice reaches. So I beg you. Okay. That was easy enough. Ah, it isn't my savior. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, my friend. So this is the yep. And welcome to the house of Vanini. I am Master Vanini's major domo, Alcinella, at your service, sir. The house of Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Um, okay. It's a shop. I was like, how is this the house of Vanini? Am I not in the crate hotel? There you are, my boy. My savior, yes. That's the word. You took back the factory and... I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> clap, 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 Without clap. That, but listen to me going on and on about my concerns and I don't believe I've even introduced myself. You have a poster Signor behind Norizini you. Venigni, gentlemen, bon vivant and at the moment utterly at your service, my friend. Nice. If the name Venigni rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of Kratz, Prince of High Society. That is because they are one and the same. Just two of the many names I've collected in my three decades here on Earth. He's 30? While I sincerely believe meeting Venigni is its own reward, Yo. I have rewarded you in the more <laughs> Come traditional on. manner. Please, take this. My newest prototype. 
a prototype? Do I get a new you. weapon? Do I get a companion? It's a grinder stone that keeps granting special attributes to the grinder. I hope you'll put it to good use. Ooh, that could be very useful. Grinder modification tool. You can equip a special grindstone on a grinder through Venini's or the Stargazer. There are different types of special grindstones that grant different effects to your weapon. You can use a special grindstone effect and battle once only once, but it recharges if you revive or visit a Stargazer. Nice! That's really awesome. Then my eyes do not deceive me. I never imagined I'd actually see it again, and in the flesh, so to speak. I just designed it, set it aside, and never got back to it. Genius and the claim can keep one quite preoccupied, I'm afraid. You are really interested in the arm, I see. Oh, he's talking about the arm. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your um, particular needs. Okay. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? If he giving me a new legion? what we brilliant inventors call modularity. <laughs> that means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, legion! <laughs> no? Too much? It was too much. They are literally called legions. <laughs> what I am I? Always welcome friends. Uh, switch Grinstone Miner. Ah, nice. Flame. Okay. That would be cool because now I have a flaming arm, uh, a lightning arm, and a flaming grinder. Can be uh, used with fire. Special Grinstone that can be equipped to a grinder. It can be triggered with never. But yeah, I read that all already. Talk. About the puppet no frenzy? One, not even I, know what started the puppet frenzy. Okay, this would be Why? the information I would that be interested day in. All days. Ah, it was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. That worked out perfectly. Armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but the only one I know with that kind of power is the King of Puppets <laughs> himself. And who would that be? I heard about this guy. I, we need to learn how this happened. The King of Puppet, is it? Like, uh. Geppetto? Amatsa, that is one slick prototype. <laughs> you think it's a tram for crickets? Nope. Why does he look like Tony Stark, honestly? <laughs> Why does this poster look so much like Tony Stark? What's that? It's for my Legion. Yep. Craft Legion arm? Okay, it seems like I have a lot more legions to choose from. Even a rocket launcher. A shield. A legion arm that can block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the emblem device explodes and deals damage to... Okay. Poison. And Deus Ex Machina. A legion arm that can install a motion sense. Okay. But most of those aren't that interesting to me, honestly. Are those all that I have? Or do I, I need to unlock those? Okay. Okay, I can upgrade it. Oh yeah, please. Please let me move while charging. Okay, now I brought Vinini, Vinini back. What do you say about that? Upgrade weapon maybe another time? Oh, no, I need Crescent Moonstone. Okay. So she isn't saying anything about Vinini's mysterious return. But the rest was just like, uh, yeah, trap and rocket launcher from the arms. So I don't know if there's really is more. 
I didn't design every puppet in Krat. Ah. It is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the Grand Covenant. I've no idea how many. I remember a few ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet? That remains to be seen, but that's a nice way of telling me that you literally have... That you only... that you did not only curse Krat, but you only... but you also cursed the entire world. Like, if there are even more puppets around, they're all everywhere on the lo loose. Who knew where they are? I have to admit, I don't really enjoy playing Lies of P as much as I, for example, enjoyed playing um, Elden Ring. But I still want to finish it, I still want to focus on it. Last time, we finished the the factory, the robot factory, we finished the uh, furnace boss. This time I hopefully won't make the mistake of not leveling up before going into the boss fight. I, <laughs> it's just, it's just so useless for me to just go in, die and die and die and die and really try hard until I'm good enough to defeat him even though I'm underleveled. It's just, if I, if I would pl play this game on my own I could easily do that, but I think on stream I should focus on getting through the game a little bit quicker. But yeah, we saved Viniji or Vinini. Um, an impressive guy, I, I don't know what to think about him. What's that, the factory? My my name is Signor of no course. My me. <laughs> I come the question mark behind the me is nice. And as a true friend of Krat. Behold, Venini Warp, where we will honor the city of Krat's history while forging her brilliant swan eyebrow. But today, Krat helped join yeah, that's another downside of this game. I really do not care for the story that much. <laughs> I think there's just so much going on, so much backstory, so much more that you can learn. But I already, like, have a great understanding of what it's all about. Uh, switch grindstone grind. I only have one, don't I? Yeah, I have the fire one. Now I have lightning arm and a fire grindstone. That's pretty good. But I want to actually go... Which save point is it? Should be this. Is this this one save point? Because I haven't completely finished the workshop just yet. There's still one enemy missing that I want to fight. Uh, it will be a chore to fight because he's standing inside of poison and he looks kind of big and dangerous. And I think it's another boss fight. <laughs> okay, this. Oh, this is completely wrong. This is not at all where I thought I would end up. But where was this one stargazer? It should be this one then. But it, the, the teaser picture looks kind of wrong. It doesn't seem like it's teleporting me to where I want to go. <laughs> and the one robot that was in this, inside this box we just saw on the little uh, save screen. No, oh, this is not it. I mean, I was right. This is not where I want to go, but... Also kind of disappointing that it's not where I want to go. I mean, there's also another place that I haven't really finished yet. I can't imagine that it's super important, um, but I like, last time I missed an item. Oh, hopefully I remember where the right path is leading. <laughs> Way too confusing, but this should be it. Yep, this is definitely it. Oh. oh, I completely ran. Not the best way. Okay, I had a little bit more time. But this this item all the way back here. I just didn't pick it up last time. I will get hit. Come on, stand up. I want to see if there's something down below here. Can't really see it and also it just seems to be like certain death. Yeah. Let's not jump down there. Let's not be stupid. <laughs> Close one. Well, okay, it's directly beside the Stargazer. My bad, my mistake. Um, but this is also not where I want to go. There should be another Stargazer. But this is just... Is it this one? I mean, it needs to be this one. 
I mean, there's still one Stargazer in the factory area that is before that one, which is kind of what confuses me. Oh, okay, no, that one is it. That's it. So the other checkpoint that is even before this workshop probably belongs to another area completely, which is kind of confusingly made. Ah, but I don't need to care about that too much. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They do not care about getting hit. <laughs> also, it has been a week since I last played this game. So please excuse me sir, if I'm not doing perfectly. Damn it, I thought I blocked him. Damn it. Okay, I need to get into the parrying again. I really hate about this game, like this is the one part that I really do not like, is that you have such a low like feedback on the hits you do. And parrying doesn't really feel that impactful for how hard it is. Like you see now I parried him perfectly. <laughs> and I just got hit directly again. And he didn't even get staggered, he just... Yeah, fell over. Like he didn't even fell over, he just attacked me again and I fell over. Like this is what you get for a perfect parry, you will just fall over. And for difficult pairing is in this game, or at least it's quite difficult for me, it doesn't really feel that rewarding. Okay, but this is the enemy I want to go against. Yeah, Puppet of the Future. I already looted this place, so I'm not quite sure which benefits this will wield to fight against this thing. I kind of don't know what he can do against me if I'm standing between his legs like this. I hope not that much. Uh, see this attack? He just attacked me. But it didn't do anything. Damn it, yes. Of course. Okay, but I can step him now. Where? Oh, in his knee. Wow. Okay, so just stepping in his knee. <laughs> you missed, but I need to heal again. Damn it. Completely lost that healing. How is he giving me shock? Or maybe shock is not what I'm thinking right now what it is. Okay, yeah. Oh! What? He just casually hurt me by stomping... ...onto me. Okay, I will reset this. Oof. If I even can reset this because I might die because of the corruption. Before I can even bail out. Ah, oh, nah, no, it should be alright. But I also can't really forget about my stamina in this fight. Yep. Damn it. Okay, already a bad beginning. Maybe locking onto him helps? I don't know if it does. Well, you missed. Bad, I wanted to parry. And miss the timing. At this point of time it would just be helpful also to block. Because I because I can make enough damage anyway. Ah oh, damn it. And now I can actually kind of forget about it already. Because um I have no healing left. And he's almost, uh, he's just at half health, so I need to run. Perfect. No! I was standing too close between his legs. Yep. 
I don't even know if parrying is... Oh my god, my... My stamina's completely out. Ah, oh, but this is a lucky attack for me. Yep, and this should be it. <laughs> Finally! Okay, this should be it for the factory. I can't leave here. Uh, this should be it for the factory, so now I just need to get back to a save point. Like, this whole point of me leveling up, this, this whole conversation of me leveling up in this game is such... It's so difficult. Like, in Bloodborne, it never really annoyed me that I would go to the uh, Hunter's Workshop to level up. But in here, it's kind of annoying because you can rest. Like, in Bloodborne, if you would less, uh, rest at a lamp, you would be teleported directly to the workshop. So, uh, it doesn't matter if you just rest or if you go to the workshop because it's one and the same. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I should have known that this barrel is explosive since it was, like, a little bit red. Okay, you're nothing. Fire can... Uh, f fire canister? I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Ooh. Okay. Actually, this game is surprising me with a lot of those areas. I thought it would take place a lot more in just city environments. But I guess not. And this is water, it's not poison. That's perfect. I can deal with water if it's not poisonous. I mean, shouldn't I also be... Well... Certainly did some damage the electric... in here. The electrician in here. Oh no. <laughs> I thought we would get to the forest area, not into a mining area. I guess it kind of makes sense that we are going into a mine since the robots uh, before were equipped with like pickaxe and stuff. Okay. He triggered an explosion barrel. Okay, that I need to dodge. I can't deflect that. But he will also die to the fire damage. I think. Depending on how, how much fire damage he would take before that, but I guess I was too impatient. Okay, yeah, but this game is really surprising. I didn't think we would get anywhere. But inside, like, those city environments that we had in, in the beginning. I thought, since it was so much talk about, like, the city of Kraid and how robots are taking over, like, that robots and thieves and everything are the problems in this world. I didn't really th consider that there would be so many problems even outside of the city, outside of the main city. Like, it was always surprising that, to me, that we would have a place like the workshop, um, that is daylight <laughs> and not as dark as the rest of the game. But this surprises me even more. Is there, like, the robot over there? He shoot. Does he has? Okay, he has firebombs. Well, honestly, I want to trigger this barrel with the firebomb. Come on! <laughs> of course there would be a second one. I meant to pick up this item, not to heal, actually. I tried to roll in time, but I guess not. I dodged, but I guess not. <laughs> well, I'm always... <laughs> I, I'm so used to, like, animation cancelling with dodging. Which is just not happen happening in this game. That most of the time I just get hit while I'm mid-swing. Which is bad. Okay, but now the most annoying guys are gone. Which is good. Just using the iframes of the backstab. You can hit me now once. That's not a problem. I'm so happy that I leveled up how much I regained from blocking. Or how much health I can regain after blocking. Big pipe red shed. Oh. I think I got a useless new weapon. And at this point it should also be very obvious that I think I will just stick to my starter weapon all the way through. Maybe I will find a better one. But honestly I have no idea what even makes a weapon a better one or a worse one in this game. 
Like, if they're all kind of the same, if they all, uh... Whoop! That was obvious that this was a trap. How bad am I right now? <laughs> Not paying attention. Not good. Up. Yep, I said I was not doing good, and so indeed, I'm not doing good. Please don't let this guy be the one that throws firebombs. Perfect, it's not. Easy enough. Leveling up the regain after a block is so important. Yeah, I can just get through this area by just blocking once. That would have been really dangerous. <laughs> that would have been really a dangerous spot if the guys with the bombs were still alive. I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt than anything else that I've then suffered uh, this far. Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant. That's a mouthful of a name, but it's probably to just upgrade my weapon even further. Oh, another big guy with a burning shovel. Wait, that's another one of those. You were in front of Vinini. You weren't actually too bad to fight. Ouch. I reacted too late. I reacted too early. I don't have any healing. I might die here. <laughs> well. I spoke true. I might die here. Oh no, I have to do everything again now. I didn't... I, I didn't have one save point, did I? Yep. Okay, now you guy again. You killed me last time in three hits that I dodged so very poorly. So let's see how we'll do against you this time. Poorly. I will do purely again. I didn't know that attack yet. Come on! I'm pressing the button in time, or at least I think I am doing. Come on. I hate this. Oh no, I'm dead again. Oh, <laughs> come on. You know why I'm dead again? Because the next save point is in Narnia. <laughs> like, the next save point is nowhere close by. Maybe there's a save point behind him, but... Yeah, there's a save point. I will just quick deactivate it. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay, this is such a joke. <laughs> Carrier's amulet. Okay, I at least got some loot out of that. So even though that is an enemy that I could quite easily wear... What's that? Probably inform the memory is not useful for movement. Okay, so this probably just raises my uh, carry load. Okay, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the, my weight limit right now. I also don't even know if I have that much special armor. He's kind of dead. That I can equip. Bodies. Could they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa! Did puppets do this? What do you think? I think most of the people we are encountering here are dead, either because of puppets... ...or because of the disease, and I don't think if the disease really did spread that far outside of the city. But this is more what I was expecting to get. Not like a mine, but... Well, this is also not really what I expected to get. Not like this... Whoa, okay, that looks... That looks kinda neat. Not like this... Canyon, canyon area, but more like a forest area, but I guess I don't. I guess this is the goal. This is where we need to end up. This is where the boss fight of this area is. I'm kind of curious how long this area will be. The factory area was rather short. But I mean, this could be a lot longer. By the way, I'm not really caring if I parry the normal bots or not. Because by now I have I get so much health back from uh, damaging them again. 
that I do really not have to worry about that. Can I stagger those guys? They really look a little bit unstaggerable. Okay, getting my health back from those normal guys is kind of hard if there are two of them. Because the second hit just negates the first hit. Or the damage that I could regain from the first hit. With, which makes chain attack so difficult in this game. But yeah... I don't know if I feel like rushing through this area right now or if I want to be a little bit more careful or slow. I think it doesn't really reward you... I'm stuck on the lamp. <laughs> I don't know how rewarding it actually is in this game. To just take it slow. Like I know in Hulong it was very rewarding to... Um... Yeah, I know in who long it was very rewarding. I couldn't have gone anywhere else anyway, so... It was very rewarding to... <laughs> this third time I'm starting the sentence. But yeah, it was very important to... Uh I forgot the buttons. Okay, so I did a special attack. I did my arm attack. <laughs> and I wasted some stuff just because I wanted some... Yeah, there it is. There's another one. Stay! Don't go away. <laughs> At the first time playing this, uh, first time encountering the one of those butterflies, I didn't really think about killing that, that I would need to kill them. It's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of embarrassing. Why would I? I guess this is just a shortcut of some kinds. This is leading back to the other side of the bridge, so let's go further into the mine again, I guess. So many exploding, exploding barrels here. Oh! There isn't even a thing here. Moonlight Town Guide. Moonlight Town Guide. Moonlight Town is the lowest place in the city, where pilgrims prepare for their journey since St. Frangelico met the one-winged angel and found the church. Moonlight Town has become known as a place where pilgrims are lifted to the cathedral by, pul uh, by pulley and prepare for their pilgrimage. Andrea's, re Andrea's reputation was, as, as, was at its peak when he was appointed as a priest. At the time, Crate was, or Krat, was only a poor country town, but Andreas didn't didn't mind and devoted himself to taking care of the people. They were even saying Sanct that Saint Frangelico himself had returned. Moonlight Town. Okay, it's only four pages. <laughs> I was like, how long is this is going? Is this going? Moonlight Town acti actively helped the priest go priests' god deeds and always acted together as a col col colleagues who delivered the word of God. The decision to accept the alchemist from outside and revive Crate was made in Moonlight Town. After all, it was the birthplace of Krat we know today. Today we have cable railway instead of pulleys and the city of the future instead of a country village, but our virtues remain unchanged. Uh, our virtues remain unchanged. Just like how the angel wrapped Sankt Frangelico in his wings and he fell in the cold, people should help each other. People should help each other. The place lower than any other. Moonlight Town is proof that virtue is still here. Okay, so this was a nice story about stuff. Yeah, about stuff. <laughs> like, really, I have the feeling like the main story is just this part about the robots that were created and went crazy. Like, just the classical I robot, Detroit become human. Well, not really Detroit become. <gasps> what? I wasn't pressing any button. <laughs> okay, nice. But really, not really the Detroit Become a Human story because this is difficult, uh, different. But it really feels like this is just... I knew that there should be a trap. Uh, like I knew that there were a trap and I should have acted accordingly. But yeah, this just feels like the ordinary Terminator story. With the robots going insane and you have to fight them and robots, build, uh, humans building robots to defend against the robots, like the stalkers we are hearing so much about. Um, and then Gempetto was the father of all, he kind of found the robots. And Finini was the one who was like mass producing them, raising the city to a higher status. 
making all the money and all the prosperity. But this, this feels like that's the story and everything around that is just made to make it a little bit more complicated or a little bit more... And to make it feel a little bit more complete, like this whole... All, all the stuff that I just wrote out, like given it wasn't that much. But it doesn't really feel like it's really adding a whole lot to the story besides just making things complicated. Like for example, I just ouch, read a little bit about a cult that is responsible. Oh, that is a real trap. Wow. Okay. Um, let me go, please. I just read a little bit about like a religion uh, that apparently was a good religion since it was open towards people. But beside that, what does what does reading all of that just? How does? <laughs> I want to get rid of this guy first because now the hard part begins, where I just can't run around anymore. Well, not really that much of a hard. Oh come on! I was out of reach, but he wasn't. Not really that much of a hard part if I can just slay them one by one. Okay, yeah, that was a nice place. Let's never do that again. <laughs> Getting trapped in moon scars didn't feel that bad. Maybe more story. But yeah, this <laughs> what I wanted to say the entire time I, why I was running around like an idiot. Um, the whole story about this religion we just read and also the whole other stuff. Like, okay, Ergo, or was it called Ergo? I think it was Ergo. It's like the source, it's like the, uh, the, the soul of the robots, it's why they could um, grow and enhance in, in, in that much of a technical way as they did in the city. It's like the reason why everything happened, but also the reason how they got rich and everything. Uh, defense part, did I pick up another one of those? I think I did. Physical damage reduction rate, that's good. It's a little bit heavier. For the, it's not that good against elemental, but against acid. Nah, I don't know. Is there maybe one thing in here that? That's way heavier, but also better. Like, are all of these just like against? Yeah. Okay, all of the armors just damage negation. I would like to find another thing that maybe helps me parry, but I think I need to find that in weapons and upgrades and such. Okay, they could have put a few more trees in here, so to make it more obvious that you couldn't, that you aren't supposed to go that way. But yeah, anyway, all the story with like the Ergo, the reason why there are robots, why this uh, city got so enhanced. It's not really... It doesn't really feel that important to know that, especially not to know that there was a cult here, that this is the moonlit city where people would go because there was some kind of strange religion who believed in, um, I guess, prophet. Who once talked, you look like a boss fight, who once talked with a one-winged angel and blah 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 and blah 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 and blah 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 and blah 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 blah. It doesn't seem to add that much. It makes the whole thing complete, but it doesn't seem that important. For example, in Bloodborne on the other side, you could actually argue the same, that like Bloodborne, okay, there are monsters there and they are like slaying the world and this whole story about the blood and that that is why the city prospered, like the city of Yaman prospered so much. You could also argue that it's kind of the same, but also in Yanim, you have those monsters and you are kind of interesting where they are coming from. And in here you have like robots, and with robots it's like, okay, yeah, the humans invented them. Like robots in the steampunk environment are not as uncommon as like werewolves and um, beasts and really gods like the great ones are in Bloodborne. Like, I think Bloodborne just raises a lot more curiosity than Lies of P, because Lies of P, P is also kind of self-explanatory. Like, it doesn't really give you more story than Bloodborne, it gives you a lot more story than Bloodborne did. Um, without really having to look in, but 
Yeah, it just gives you enough story to not be curious about the rest, while Bloodborne, it doesn't give you enough story to not be curious about the rest. Like, Bloodborne gives you almost no story un unless you dig deeper, and then here you can just enjoy the story without having to dig deeper.